250 million years, amphibians have been living on our planet Earth, making them some of the oldest species to walk this planet. They are small-bodied vertebrates. Some live in both water and land, while some flourish entirely on trees. The cosmopolitan town of Manipal lies on the western coast of India. With the immense western ghats on one side and the vast blue Arabian Sea on the other, it occupies a truly unique position. Students from all over the world flock here for quality education. But as we are all aware, with great development come great externalities. The large number of students bring with them more cars, more trash and more pollution. The environment is under siege. Frogs and toads are bioindicators. That means that they can tell you about the health of the local environment. If amphibians are in crisis today, without a doubt the whole of humanity will suffer in due time. Frogs are facing a steep decline globally. But all hope is not lost. Every momentous journey in history has begun with one person taking a small step somewhere. In the hope that his fellow human beings will see him, learn from him and eventually follow him. Madhushri Murke, a conservationist and a researcher, has been getting students and local citizens of all age groups together to understand the status of frogs in Manipal. She hopes to inspire an active community of citizen scientists to help her document, conserve and study the local frog species, all while enjoying their spellbinding beauty. Earlier this month, I was awarded a grant by the Society for the Study of Amphibians and Reptiles, which is a non-profit organization established to advance research, conservation and education. My study is about documenting frogs around a small town in Manipal with the help of citizen scientists. It is a well-known fact that citizen scientists can help enhance the quality of scientific work and in Manipal, we have been successful in building a community of citizen scientists. We have students from the age group of 16 to 23 or 24 coming along with us and helping us document frogs and birds. Is that a frog? Yeah, it is. Which one? Well, uh, being a citizen scientist is all about having fun. You are out in the uh, you are out in the forest in the wild and you you go on long treks. It's filled with adventure. It's filled with so much fun and enthusiasm. Manipal is home to at least nineteen different species of frogs. Researchers are confident that the town hosts at least a few more frogs that are still unknown to science. But what bothers scientists and ecologists more than unknown species? is the fact that amphibian population estimates, life histories and behaviours of known species still remain a mystery to this day. At every step, citizen scientists have a critical role to play. Madhushri alone cannot record all the data required to study these frogs. She needs all the help she can get. That's where citizen scientists jump in. They help researchers understand and research the environment closely. What at least I try to do is move conservation efforts away from, you know, being very human-centric. Like, so the tiger is majestic, so protected. So frog is a good example. I mean, I, you can try very hard, but there are only very few frogs that look cute or you know, look majestic in that sense, right? And that's also very subjective. But if you can form an emotional connect with something like that, then you realize that it's need, it needn't to be cute looking or majestic looking for it to be conserved, right? You just need to conserve it because it has a role to play in your environment, and that that you will only get to you will only understand when you see it yourself. It doesn't come from a book. People often ask me whether it's dangerous to be in the forest at night. Um, genus is tadpole. It's like a group of frogs which have been evolving in India for millions and millions of years and they have like these semi-aquatic tadpoles so 
the tadpoles will rest on the rocks like these kind of moist rocks and feed on all this algae too many geckos here Is it so safe to live in the cities these days? Um, I mean, yeah, being in the forest certainly comes with some sort of precautions. You can't just get drunk and go out, uh, go go in the wild. Um, you have to you have to be careful of what you're doing. It's more like meditation where you are aware of your senses, where you're aware of everything that's happening around you. Earlier this month, Madhushri released a pocket guide book called Frogs of Manipal. to help the citizen scientists identify frogs easily a step towards a better future for our planet will be taken the day when we all become citizen scientists when each one of us starts taking their first steps towards the well-being of creatures that inhabit our forests and our cities it is only then that we'll be able to prevent these fascinating animals from dying out completely don't you agree that the world will be so much happier when we share it with these magnificent creatures.